Let's read a story called Busy Boats. See them getting ready to get on their boat? Boats are really wonderful for sailing us around. They travel through the water with a sloppy, slappy sound. It's fun to go out boating, especially in the sun. The water's cool and sparkly. So come on, everyone. A boat sits on the water like an empty cup, bowl or cup. It's hollow and it's full of air, and that's what keeps it up. An anchor holds you steady when you're bobbing in a bay. You wind the chain to raise it up when you want to sail away. Over lakes and seas and rivers, wind blows very strong. Some boats have sails to catch it, so it pushes them along. To handle boats with masts and sails, you need a clever crew. The captain is the one in charge who tells them what to do. A dinghy or a rowboat is useful near the shore. You make it travel backward by pulling on each oar. A motorboat is powered by propeller from the back. It whooshes through the water and leaves a foamy track. And just in case by accident you tumble from the boat, you have to wear a life jacket made to help you float. Some boats are built for fishing where the ocean waves are steep. Their nets are cast to catch the fish, then haul them from the deep. A ship can carry cargo, which is loaded at the docks. Heave ho, look out below, here comes a giant box. A ferry carries cars and trucks to where they need to go. The people travel up above, the vehicles stay below. A mighty ocean liner has a big and busy crew. It carries many passengers. They're waving now. Yoo-hoo! The ship has cozy cabins where the passengers can stay. And out on deck, they stroll around and watch the sea or play. But when the journey's over, ahoy, the lighthouse rock. The ship glides into harbor and ties up at the dock. Do you remember seeing these boat parts in the book? The lighthouse, the anchor, the propeller, the oars, the deck and the cabin, and the cargo. The end. Now